G'day guys, welcome to uh, the Great Footy Pie Night, Balfour's Great Footy Pie Night. Uh, obviously thank you to Balfour's first of all for providing the delicious pies, I've had about seven already. But uh, we've got Ricky Henderson here, who's one of my favourite players at the club. I uh, just want to know, how's your arm going Rick? Uh, my arm's a bit sore at the minute, uh, been here for about 15 minutes so far. And we're uh, still signing the way, but many more to go. About half an hour to go there, Rick. What a great pie it is, too. Pastry, beautiful. Meat to gravy ratio, perfect. Here with Patrick Dangerfield. Now, Pat, how's the arm going? This line goes back all the way to Bradman Terrace. It's that long, but uh, how's it been going, Pat? It's been very good, Matty. Yeah, there's been plenty of enthusiastic kids and uh, plenty of number 32s, which is always good to see. Guys, I'm with Daniel Talia now, the, the, uh, the, the self-proclaimed best fullback the AFL's seen since Silvani. Um, obviously, Daniel, um, your arm wouldn't be sore from signing too many autographs. So the, uh, the fans don't generally flock to the, uh, the full-back, but um, they'd be pretty sore from spoiling the ball. Also, Daniel, uh, you've actually been spotted, on, you've had polished off at your seventh pie tonight, and uh, what are your thoughts on that? Oh, look, mate, I've signed a few more autographs than you do, walking around here doing not much with this microphone, but... Uh Bit of a bludge for you, getting out of the thing, and uh, yeah. Got to give the fans what they want, mate. Got to give the fans what they want. G'day, guys. Nathan Van Bello here from the Adelaide Crows. Nah, I just heard that on Triple M, so that's why I said it. Nah, Nathan, uh, footy pie night. What do you like about nights like this? Oh, mate, it's good to, I mean, we've got a huge turnout here tonight. There's been um, a heap of kids turn out, and they love getting, um, you know, our autographs and getting a pie and a bit of a chalk milk as well, so... I think it's good for us to, to give back a little bit to our junior members. Have you seen any good looking hairdos, hairdos getting around, like any uh, Tex Walker mullets or, or anything like that? Uh, there's been a few lookalikes getting around, but uh, I don't think anyone will come close to uh, Tex. He's got a decent old mullet. Yeah, look, uh, don't be surprised if Pat doesn't play this week. He uh, might actually have a seizure by the end of tonight. He's had that many camera flashes in his face. It's like the paparazzi around him. But uh, you seen any good hair? Good any hair? <laughs> I've got Brent Riley shouting at me. It's uh, doing me head in him, that's all right. Uh, have you seen any good hairdos rolling around? Any Tommy Lynches um, or anything like that? Uh, there hasn't been too many unfortunate kids like that, but there's been plenty of blonde-headed kids with mohawks. So yep. uh, surprisingly, no mullets for uh, Adelaide crowd. So there might be might be a few in the line, mate. Now, uh, in other words, uh, Tom Lynch from the uh, Gold Coast and uh, Sam Day—they have actually uh, got some spies out, so they're pretty happy. You, you polished off seven pies, and they're rubbing their hands together for this weekend. Um, obviously, you're pretty happy with the skin folds. Well, mate, Tom Lynch's not playing. He's actually got an injured knee, so if you did your homework, you'd know that. <laughs> and, and Sam Day can think what he wants, mate. I'll stitch him up on the weekend anyway. Well, there you go. You heard it here first. And uh, Sam Day plays back as well, so if you did your homework, you'd know that too. Obviously, it's uh, not great to sign many autographs. You've actually got no one in your lineup at the moment, mate. So uh, mate, I'm getting writer's cramp here. We haven't, uh, we haven't stopped being writer here. We've been producing uh, big time. Yeah, apparently Vinny's been out to this station just to rub his forearm and get a bit of uh, oil and a bit of moisturiser into it just to uh, uh, calm down the rider's cramp. Um, seen, I've actually seen one kid come through before. They've come from everywhere in the state. I've seen a Harndorf little fella come through. He's looking for you, actually. So And what a legend he would be. Yeah, black and white stripes. Is that Harndorf, is it? Yeah, it's Harndorf Maggie's, mate. Harndorf Maggie's, so you have to find him. Now, we've got to have a bit of a Port Power support in the, in the, uh, in the house at the moment. Um, he's actually looking at me right now, so I can't turn around, but... Uh, What's, what's, what's going on here? What is going on here? And I'm not happy about it. And we won't be interviewing him. So, I might have to grab that jacket off it and burn it a bit later. Yep. And uh, you're obviously signing a few Central District balls as well. Good to see them as well. Yeah, they're very good. They're my affiliation club for the Sample. So, it's always good to see me out here supporting the Crows as well. Righto, Rick. Well, that's good to uh, have a chat to you and I uh, hope that arm looks after itself, mate. Thanks, Matty. Yeah, we might have to actually leave, Pat. We've got about 15 kids crying because they're waiting for his signature. It's, been, it's about two and a half week wait, so if you want to uh, come down the next week or so, this line will still be about two hours away for, to get Pat's signature. So that's it from Patty. Thanks, <laughs> Angie. Uh, anyway, uh, Daniel Talia, uh, how's your line been? Your line's not as long as uh, Patrick Dangerfield's. Danger's, uh, like I said earlier, is pretty much on, uh, on Brebner, Brebner Terrace. Um, but uh, your line probably about, uh, I don't know, one to two metres long with about three people in it. Yeah, mate, look, it's actually Brebner Drive. And uh, <laughs> my, my, obviously my, not, like my line's not as long as Danger's. Um, he's obviously a superstar and, uh, yeah, so... Ah, that's alright. No, anyway, we'll let Daniel Talia go. Uh, his line's actually grown a, a bit, out to about a metre and a half now, so uh, we'll let him go. Thanks for uh, talking to us on Great Footy Pie Night. No worries, mate. Try and sign some autographs instead of bludgeon. 
No worries. Uh, you've seen it. We look, well, I've seen a few good-looking hairdos rolling around from kids. I've seen a few mohawks, a few mullets. What have you, what's the best you've seen so far? So a definite rat's tail. I saw a little fella come through before. It would have been about yay long, and he was only so high, so it was uh, decent. Beautiful. Uh, now, and the big question: How many Balfour's pies have you polished off tonight? Well, I haven't touched them yet. I'm getting very hungry though. It's about dinner time, so I reckon a few boys might uh, grab a couple on the way out. You'll be one of them. I think Stiffy might be one who might tuck into a few, but I don't reckon VB is. If you see with his shirt off, there's not a lot to the old uh, skin folds. But uh, anyway, guys, that's Nathan Van Belly. I'll let him go. But his line's actually grown a bit to about four metres, so we better let him go. Must be you, Yenchi. Thanks, mate.